Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create this outro type scene using characters and animations inside Create Studio. So as you can see, it's a really nice looking design and this was all done, you know, using shapes and the assets inside Create Studio. So let me show you how it all works. I'm just going to delete everything here and start from scratch. First of all, I'm going to go grab a rectangle. So I'm just going to type in rectangle um, and this can be my background. So I'll just scale it up and I'm going to resize it to make sure it's looking good on the canvas. And I'm just going to double click on this and type in BG for background. And I'll make it about 10 seconds long. And then what I want to do is basically change the color and make it a blue color. So let's just grab a nice kind of blue color for the daytime. And I'm going to duplicate this uh, rectangle by using Command D. If you've got a Windows computer, you could probably use Control D. And that should duplicate it. Or you can right click on it and go duplicate as well. And for this one, I'm going to double click on it and type ground. And this can be my floor. And so if I just select that, I click on this little shortcut and make the color maybe a, a white. Whoops, I bring this one down. I think I've re changed change it around. So let's just bring this up and make this yeah full width and actually just bring it down like that. Okay, cool. So now I've got my, gra my floor or my ground. Um, I'm going to also go through and grab a city. So if you click on uh, this image icon, and you go to SVG and just type in city. You can select one of these uh, kind of pre-made cities and we can use it as like an, a nice kind of background silhouette. So I'm just gonna drag it up and just position it like so. And for this one, I'm just gonna again type in city, rename it so everything's nice and neat on the timeline and I know exactly what everything is when I can just look at it. And I'm just gonna select that, go to the color picker tool and sometimes if you want to choose a color on the canvas, you need to zoom in a bit closer. Um, so I'm going to zoom in and click on this to get the same color and then maybe make it a, a lighter color or maybe a bit darker. I'll just zoom out. And yeah, depending on your own kind of preferences, you can play around with this. Maybe a lighter color could look quite cool. And I might actually change the, the floor and make it the same type of color, maybe a little bit darker even, or a bit lighter. Yeah, kind of play around with it. Maybe darker looks better. Okay, cool. So now I've got my city over here. What I want to do is go to Studio and go to Characters and click on Supreme and go grab the superhero guy. So this one over here. I'm just going to drag him over like that. And now I've got my character here. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is basically make him fly out up into this into space. And as he's flying, I want clouds to start falling around him. So it looks like he's you know, flying and the clouds are going by him and then he's going to kind of land in space and it's going to turn to a night type scene. So um, what I'm going to do is just select the action for this character and if I just click on it like so and select fly, I'm going to go flying here. You have to see I've got this nice kind of flying animation like that. So what we want to do once he starts to take off, we want basically the the city as well as the as well as the floor to kind of fly down. So I'm just going to go to the point where he starts to lift off about that kind of point in the timeline. And I can zoom in a bit closer to see the seconds a bit better. And what I want to do is basically add some animation. So with the city selected, I'm going to go to motion and go to out and I'm going to go to slide bottom. Okay. And this is going to add a out animation where the city slides down and what I'm going to do is just drag it across so it starts sliding basically from the beginning. I could even go directly to the beginning like that and what I'm going to do is just use command C with this animation selected command C and then go to the ground as well and just use command V to paste that animation that motion preset onto this layer here and I'm also going to just re size the duration so that it's the same speed. So you have to see now if I preview this, you can see the city kind of fades away and, and slides down and it looks like he's starting to actually fly. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I've got this going on. What I'm going to do is now I get some clouds. So I'm going to go to the shape tool and type in cloud and I'm going to grab this cloud shape and just resize it. There's also some cloud shapes over here. So if you want to try one of these ones as well, um, you can play around with that. 
So what I want to do is, yeah, just bring this across and let's just have a look when he starts to ascend. I was going about here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to rename this one cloud and I'm going to position it off the screen and it's going to kind of slide, slide down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just go with, uh, go with the custom animation. So at about this point here, I'm just going to click on the plus icon, go to position, and then I'm going to move the time indicator to the end of the animation. And just over here, I can use the Y properties just to drag it down. So I'm going to say something like 1200, like so. And I'm also going to adjust the easing for this. So I'm going to select the easing and go to linear and both. And let's just preview what that looks like. Okay, cool. So you can make it even a little bit faster. And what I'm going to do is duplicate that again, that cloud. I'm just going to delete this animation so that it doesn't affect the actual um, properties because I'm going to move this cloud to the right. So I'm going to just select this cloud, just bring it over, maybe place it about there. And at about this point where, where this cloud's kind of almost left the screen, I'm going to start the next cloud to animate. So I'm just going to again uh, click on the plus icon, go to position and move the time indicator to the end of the animation and then just simply use the y-axis to bring it down um, so it goes exactly in a nice straight line so i'm going to zoom out i could also just you know drag this down as well because it looks quite nice and vertical and again i'm going to adjust the easing to make it linear and let's just preview that Cool, so I probably want to maybe, I could have the superhero guy behind the cloud if I want, but I might put him in front of it so he, he kind of gets more attention, I guess. Um, and I might just drag this over a little bit, the second cloud, so it starts a bit earlier. And let's just preview that one more time. So we've got City flying down, he's going into, in, into space, basically. And at this point here, once he goes past this cloud, what I want to do is make the background change to a night type scene. So it's gonna go from daytime, like a blue cloud, into kind of space with a purple type color. So with the background selected, I'm gonna drop down this and go to plus and go to color. And I'm gonna change the color. So now it's blue. I'm gonna move the time indicator over here. So just as he's about to kind of land in space, I'm gonna change this color to a nice purple color. So just select the background and just change the color. So I'm gonna change this nice purple color here that I've got set as my favorites. And to add any color to favorites, what you can do is just you know select the color and then click on add to favorites. You can see it adds over here. And you can also just delete those as well. I'm gonna select that nice purple color. And you'll have to see now that we've got this really nice transition. So it goes from day to night. So it's going from blue to purple, okay, like that. Now when he lands, we wanna add another action for him. So I'm gonna to go to action. I'm gonna select the character, go to add action and go to uh, wave like this. And at the end, we're gonna have him wave out and we can basically have our logo, have a call to action if you like. So I'm gonna go through and also add some extra kind of design. So I'm gonna to go to the background and just remove this uh, kind of text here. And I'm gonna grab one of these nice designs. So maybe something like this looks quite cool. It's just kind of subtle effects that look really good rather than just having a plain background color. You can have something like this. They look really good with explainer styled videos. So just drag this out. And I'll call this one design. And just drag this one down. So let's just have a look at the background. So this background starts to change at about this point and so we want this kind of design to kind of slide down as well at the same kind of time. So what I'm gonna do is change that color. So maybe we could grab something like, maybe even a darker color than that one. So maybe something like this. And then what I'm gonna do is add a motion preset. So go to motion and I'm gonna to go to in and I'm gonna to go to slide, backslide bottom, maybe this one here, okay, like that. So let's just preview that. Cool, so it's looking good. And I'm also gonna go grab a moon. So let's just type in moon over here. I might grab this one here. And 
and I'll place it maybe over here like so. Um, and I might select that color, maybe make it a this orangey color like that. It's looking quite cool. And then I could just have like a call to action. I might go grab actually that same animation for this design one. So what you can do is just again, select the design, select the animation, the motion preset and use command C to copy that preset, select the moon. I'll just type in moon over here. And I'm going to select the moon layer and just use command V and you can see it paste that motion preset. Now, uh, co copying animations and presets, it currently works with the motion presets, but not with the custom animations. So just keep that in mind. So now we've got this, we've got our moon flying down. I might even start a little bit later and maybe just this design a little bit later as well. Let's just preview that. Okay, cool. And you can also offset the moon, maybe come a little bit later than the design. So like that and then you could have you know your text add some text over here let's say uh, made in create studio like that and you could have an animation a motion preset you could have you know one of these text effects maybe we'll go with the text effect with this one and let's go with text effects and I'm going to select typewriter so I've got this nice made and create studio type effect. Um, with the typewriter effect, if you want the text to type from the left to the right, rather than from kind of right to left, I guess in a way, what you could do is um, set the rotation point. Just use this top left corner and you'll have to see now the text plays from the left to the right like that, okay? And you can adjust the duration. Let's just preview what we've made uh, so far. So he flies up into space goes from day to night and we've got this nice design and a little kind of call to action or the text you could use a call to action i might just go grab the design and actually bring him out as well so that it goes the same duration as the superhero guy let's just bring this all in like that and yeah so you've got your nice kind of scene all created with custom animations designs um and yeah motion presets inside create studio so have a go with that, play around with some of these effects and animations. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and have fun creating.